casualties of Russian troops are 500,000 in Ukraine. France says this is a military failure. The Russian army lost 150 soldiers in the war against Ukraine. French Foreign Minister Stéphane Sejourné said in an interview with Novaya Gazeta. Europe, this is a military failure of Russia. According to our estimates, Russia's military losses amount to 500,000 people, including 150,000 killed, he said. All of this was for what? he asked. This can be summed up in two words, for nothing, he said. Russia has not disclosed information on its casualties. Britain estimates that approximately 450,000 Russians have been killed or wounded in Ukraine. The BBC reported in April that more than 50,000 Russian military personnel have died, citing its own reporters, independent media group, media zona and volunteers. Speaking about frozen Russian assets in the European Union, Sejourné reaffirmed that the funds could be used to fund the defence of Ukraine against the invasion but did not give specifics. With the rise in rates, these assets have generated almost 4 billion euros in revenue in 2023. We want them to be used to finance defence and reconstruction efforts in Ukraine. On the possibility of NATO troops deployment, the minister echoed French President Macron's stance, stating Europe must overtly warn Russia that when continental peace and European security are threatened, no option is off the table. However, Sejourné stressed France's relations with Russia remain based on mutual respect between our peoples, even as he condemned the reckless Russian authorities disregarding international laws and human lives. In an interview with The Economist, French President Emmanuel Macron said that if the Russians broke through the defences and Ukraine asked for help, his country would consider sending in ground troops. Russia's losses in the war in Ukraine as of May 3 amount to 1,270 Russian troops, bringing the total number of Russian army losses since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine to 472,140. In addition, the armed forces of Ukraine destroyed 58 artillery systems and 42 vehicles, according to the General Staff of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, and a number of their equipment have already been unpacked by the Armed Forces of Ukraine. The following was revealed, 22 tanks, 33 armored vehicles, 58 artillery systems, 2 air defense, 19 UAVs, 42 vehicles, 5 units of special equipment. At present, Ukrainians repel Russian assaults on Donetsk Oblast's Burdikai inflicting heavy losses, but Russians eventually outflank defenses, forcing Ukrainian withdrawal. The main Russian goal to the northwest of Avdiivka is to break through Ukrainian defensive lines and reach the Ukrainian city of Pokrovsk which serves as the main Ukrainian headquarters in the region. The first Ukrainian line of defense in the way of the Russian operation is located along the Derna River. Ever since the fall of Avdiivka, Russians have been continuously attempting to breach these Ukrainian defenses in multiple locations. The settlement of Burdikai is situated on the outermost edge of the Ukrainian river defenses, which is why it has seen the highest intensity of clashes in this direction. After Russian forces managed to cross the railway, they immediately launched numerous waves of attacks in the direction of Burdikai. The Ukrainian 47th Mechanized Brigade shared drone footage showcasing the Russian losses on the road between Stepov and Burdikai since the fall of Avdiivka. If Ukrainians continue to inflict such a high rate of losses on the Russian forces, the Russian detachments will quickly lose their combat capability, causing a premature culmination of the offensive effort and consolidation of the front line. Russian troops enter U.S. military base in Niger. Russian troops have entered an airbase in Niger where U.S. troops are stationed. Reuters reported this, citing a senior Pentagon official. The move follows the decision of the Nigerian junta to expel U.S. troops from the country. Military officials running the West African country have asked the U.S. to withdraw nearly 1,000 troops from the country, which until last year's coup was a key partner of Washington in the fight against insurgents who have killed thousands and forced millions to flee their homes. A senior U.S. defense official speaking on condition of anonymity said that Russian troops were not mixing with U.S. troops but were using a separate hangar at Airbase 101, which is located next to Diori Hamani International Airport in Niamey, the capital of Niger. 
Reuters writes that the move by the Russian military puts U.S. and Russian troops in close proximity at a time when military and diplomatic rivalry between the countries is becoming increasingly fierce over the war in Ukraine. It also raises questions about the fate of U.S. facilities in Niger after the U.S. withdrawal. The official concluded, the situation is not great, but in the short term, manageable. The United States and its allies have been forced to withdraw from a number of African countries following coups that have brought to power groups seeking to distance themselves from Western governments. Recently, U.S. troops left Chad and French troops were expelled from Mali and Burkina Faso. At the same time, Russia is seeking to strengthen relations with African countries, positioning itself as a friendly country without colonial baggage on the continent. Mali, for example, has become one of Russia's closest African allies in recent years and the Wagner private military company has deployed troops there to fight jihadist insurgents.